afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back to our seminar for the 20th anniversary of Center for Bioethics and Medical Humanities, uh, Gajah Mada University. Uh, time flies uh, very fast. It has been 20 years since our first international and national conferences that then became the foundation and establishment of the Center for Bioethics and Medical Humanities. Uh, so we have seen firsthand the immense consequence resulted from the COVID-19. Indonesia is not alone here. Uh, government across the world, uh, as well as the WHO itself, actually have miscalculated the threat. Yeah. Subsequent uh, news and uh, reports and analysis from foreign media have highlighted the low level of testing in Indonesia, as well as the misstep the government made in the early response to the crisis. Certainly, we, have, uh, we face a momentous challenge. The importance of balancing the economy and public health is also attention felt more acutely in our country and in many other countries. However, the foreign media has missed the resilience of the Indonesian people. So I think in this uh, discussion, we will actually uh, present the resilience of the Indonesian people. Uh, let me introduce the uh, speaker in this session. Uh, the first speaker is Professor Laksono Trisnantoro, PhD. He is a professor in Faculty of Medicine, Public Health and Nursing with expertise in health policy and management. He is now the chair of the department and the director of the graduate program of health policy and management. And he has activities and coordinated many activities in responding the, uh, to the COVID-19. Uh, all over Indonesia. Thank you for, uh, for your time, Prof. Laksono. And then our second speaker is Dr. Riris Andoro, Andono Ahmad, or Pak Doni, as I call him. He is the Secretary of the Department of Biostatistics, Epidemiology, and Population Health, and also the, the Director of Center of Tropical Medicines, and also the Coordinator for the Epidemiology uh, field epidemiology training program in uh, public health study program. He's very busy and also uh, has been working and consulting the government on the control of COVID-19 in Yogyakarta and national level. Thank you, Pak Doni, for your time. And our third uh, speaker is Bapak Rimawan Pradipto, SA, MSc, PhD from the Faculty of Economy and Business. Uh, Universitas Gajah Mada. He is, also, he is the founder of Sonjo. Yeah. It is a platform he established in response to social economic impact of COVID-19. So uh, his interest is in law and economy, very interesting, economy of crime, games theory, and experimental economy. So thank you for your availability, Pak Rimawan. And then we will have also our discussion, uh, Dr. Budiono Santoso, he is a medical doctor and clinical pharmacologist, uh, formerly the head of the clinical pharmacology department in the Faculty of Medicine, Universitas Gajah Mada. And he used to be our, formerly the team leader in essential medicine and technologies in the Western Pacific Regional Office of WHO for around 13 years. Yes. Now he is an independent consultant in, in medicine. And then our second discussion is Professor Adi Utarini. She is professor in public health and also a member of National Research Council and previously served as the Vice Dean for Research, Community Service and Collaboration at the Faculty of Medicine, Gajah Mada University. Aside of the very active professor, he is also, she is also a pianist, tennis table player, and cyclist. <laughs> very uh, uh, many activities uh, 
uh, for uh, Professor Adi Utari. So for the first uh, presenter, uh, speaker, I would like to invite our uh, Professor, Professor Laksono Trisnantoro for the uh, about 15 minutes, Prof. Laksono. Yeah, the time is yours, Prof. Laksono, for about 15 minutes. Thank you.